pool. Oh, the waterproof goes in everything. How am I meant to take my pool selfies now? Five minutes and 44 seconds. Not bad, Amber. Wait, did I just hear you say you held your breath for five minutes and 44 seconds? Yeah, I did. So I'm guessing if you can hold your breath for that long, then you can help me dive to the bottom of the pool and get my phone. Absolutely. Jump in and we'll be snapping selfies in no time. Turns out my mermaid in wetsuit armour here at Griffith University's Aquatic and Fitness Centre is a world champion professional freediver. Amber can swim the length of four Olympic pools underwater and dive to depths beyond 70 metres without tanks or fins. So she's the perfect girl for the job. So Amber freediving sounds hectic. Where do you even begin getting into this sport? I mean, it seems so dangerous. Well, it's similar to a lot of sports. You just start off doing a beginner's freediving course. It's not a sport that you can do on your own. It's really dangerous to hold your breath underwater on your own. No matter how old you are or how much experience you have, you have to have someone watching you. You have to be freediving with a qualified professional. Absolutely, and so because you are a qualified professional, it's okay for me to be doing some techniques with you today? Absolutely. Amazing. So. Where do we even begin? I mean, I don't see any equipment around here. It's really, it's just all done on one breath. Yeah, no tanks, so just your lungs. I have my mask so I can see underwater and I use a slick skin wetsuit, which helps you glide through the water. And I also use a monofin, which is like a mermaid tail that helps you swim through the water. So cool. And what does it feel like to be so far down under there? Like, you really must feel like a mermaid. <laughs> It can be very relaxing, but there's also quite a lot of pressure, so it can take your body time to adapt to the pressure. So it's just training and practice and spending as much time in the water as possible. Talk about pressure! Once you descend 100 metres, your lungs will have shrunk from a surface volume the size of melons to oranges. So it's fair to say freediving is a physiological feat. I can barely hold my breath for five seconds. How do you hold yours for over five minutes? Well, it's actually just the buildup of CO2 that's giving you that urge to breathe. You've still got plenty of oxygen, so you can actually hold your breath a lot longer. So how do you fight the urge to breathe, especially when you're so far down? A lot of it's just relaxation. So slowing down your breathing before you go underwater, long, slow exhales can really help slow down your heart rate, which will help you hold your breath longer. And do you do any like visualization techniques like to really get in the zone? Yeah, I do a lot of meditation just to practice bringing down my heart rate, a lot of visualization, so visualizing the dive before you go and dive. The mammalian dive reflex forces our bodies to use less oxygen underwater by slowing our heart rate down by 50% and narrowing our blood vessels to prioritise blood flow to vital organs. All mammals have it, from whales to dolphins to humans. How'd it go? Well done. That was like 30 seconds longer than your last hole. Oh, it's kind of getting a little bit easier. I think you're ready. How about we go get that phone? All right, let's do it. <laughs> And now, what do you say about a little victory selfie? Yeah, 